Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my very first anti-haul <sighs> this video. Guys, I personally have been binge watching anti-hauls because it's so refreshing in the YouTube beauty community to see videos like these and to see people talking about products that just you know you're just not gonna buy so this video is probably going to be the only video on my channel that will not make you want to go shopping which in turn is good for your wallet so I want to begin with mentioning that I saw this video on Amber's beauty chair I will leave her link down below and I know there's a lot of like Kind of like a little drama going on between who started this video first and all that. I mean, people just... Anyways, so I saw it on her video. I watched her video of, you know, giving her explanation because people were basically kind of like attacking her and telling her that, you know, she didn't start this video, that actually Kimberly Clark started this video. Now, honestly, I have not watched any of Kimberly Clark's videos, but I did like kind of do my little research while I was watching um, Amber's beauty chair. Um, all her receipts, she actually has receipts for her actually starting this video, but I'm not even going to get into all of that. Um, you go do your research just like I did mine. It is what it is. Now disclaimer as well if you don't like what i say well too bad so sad um if you like some of these products that's great that's amazing um if you own some of these products that's amazing this is just my personal opinion on why i'm not going to be buying these products not everybody has to like everything not everything has to be you know rainbows and roses for every beauty product now you guys know me i'm honest if i'm a little too blunt <laughs> um it is what it is i am not gonna sugarcoat it you guys know me i don't have to lie to kick it so let's get started because you guys know i can talk a lot and i do not want to make this video a 20 minute video so let's get started <sighs> The first one and these first two brands, products, I'm just going to get over with because I don't want to spend the whole video talking about them. And I need to stop banging this desk. Um, I saw the, this product in particular like in everybody's anti-haul videos. So it comes to no surprise that I'm over it as well. I am not going to be purchasing any of the Kylie Cosmetics summer collection, vacation, whatever, da 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 da, -da. Um, Honestly, you guys know I tried out one of her lip kits, the liquid lipsticks, being the liquid lipstick junkie that I am, and it was crap. It didn't work out for me. I don't know if they, from then, reformulated, which is honestly, in my opinion, I find that dumb. Uh, why would you put out products and then... You know, in your next release, you're going to fix it and you're going to like launch it and make it be better. Why can't you just do that from the beginning and put out a really good product? That's just my opinion. I tried when the liquid lipsticks when they first, first launched and, you know, I was just not a fan. I actually have a video uh, reviewing that Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipstick. Um... So I will link that video down below in case you guys want to check it out. Just check out the tea. Now the next thing I am honestly, I was this close to buying. This close to buying it. But I said, you know what? Do I really need it? Like, I personally don't use cream contour. I'm just, it's not my thing. I personally prefer powder contour. So I'm going to be skipping on the Kim Kardashian West Beauty contour thingamabobbers because one, I feel like they're too expensive for the amount of product that they have. And by now we have all seen Snapchat and Instagram and reviews and they barely have any product. So I'm just not with that. And maybe in the future, something else that she launches will 
catch my attention but for now I'm not I'm not into it now moving on to other products that are not Kardashian Jenner related Too Faced glitter palette <laughs> Guys, this was such a disappointment because the palette looks amazing. It looks beautiful in pictures. I was like, oh my gosh, a glitter palette. I'm getting it. And then later on, we see the swatches. And honestly, it's not worth it. Uh, I'm just being honest. Like, if you see the swatches, I'll put some right here so you can see them. It just looks like an eyeshadow with a little bit of glitter. Like, no, I thought you were gonna swatch that and it was gonna be legit glitter. So, that's one reason I'm skipping that because even though I was so excited for it, it's such a disappointment. Next, this, <laughs> this broke my heart because I really, really wanted this palette. Oh my gosh. This is me in a palette, literally. Like, the Natasha Denona palette that everyone has been talking about and it was basically in a lot of the anti hauls that I watched because it's a hundred and twenty nine dollars oh my gosh like I have no problem spending on makeup splurging on makeup I have no problem but <laughs> I had a problem with this one girl <laughs> I had a problem a hundred and twenty nine dollars for the palette like, I get it's Natasha Denona, and oh my gosh, but really? Really, really? And then I just seen, like, all over Instagram that the ColourPop palette, they brought out this really cute, uh, like, warm and, like, just a really warm goodness eyeshadow palette that I was not able to buy, but I'm waiting for the restock. It's a dupe for that palette, and that palette, the ColourPop palette, is $16. No, girl. Natasha Denona? I'm sorry. Pero no. Moving on, the... Ugh, this palette. Okay, I was not even excited for this palette. Even though you guys know the warm palette lover that I am, cranberry tones, orange tones, just all of that tones, warm, everything I'm obsessed with. Um... Urban K Naked Heat, no. First of all, I do not own any of the Naked palettes. I will tell you, I have owned them in the past. I've owned like two of them. And both of them I gave them away because Urban Decay eyeshadows, like from the palettes, just do not stick on my eyes and they do not last. I don't know what is up with my eyes and like me and the Urban Decay eyeshadows, naked eyeshadows, they just, we just do not go. Um, I used to use them way back then when I was younger. Now they just don't go. Like the eyeshadows will fade away throughout the day. They will crease even if I use a primer. And I'm like, girl, I'm not gonna spend $50 on that palette when the eyeshadows just don't work out for me. And I don't know, it just, I just feel like I'm over the naked palettes. Like, girl, bye. Just kidding. <laughs> I feel like all I'm talking about is palettes, guys, but I'm so sorry. Like, this is what's coming out or what's out, and it's just, no. Um, BH Cosmetics times Carly Bible, number two or second palette, whatever. I'm, no. You guys saw my review on the first palette that they collaborated. It sucked. It really did. I did a review. I will link it down below so you guys can sip on that tea. And it's just, it looks the same, just a little bit bigger. Like, that's it. I don't see a difference in it. There's like one color, one color that was having me like have doubts and actually going to buy the palette, but it's one color. I'm pretty sure I could find it in another brand or, you know, is not that serious. I don't really, really need just that color. So I was like, girl, no, don't buy it. Next, <laughs> Anastasia blush palettes. They just look so boring. I mean, honestly, they look so boring. It just, it doesn't look cool. It doesn't, it's not eye catching. It's just. 
No puedo. Next, the Tarte Unicorn Palette. I wanted the brushes, but I just, I just didn't buy them. And the palette just, okay, here's my thing. Here's my thing with Tarte. I am so, so over Tarte palettes. Like, I don't own any palettes, but just because I'm always so put off by all the launches of palettes. It feels like they launch a palette every week. It drives me insane. And another thing that gets me, it's like, they're, all their palettes are limited edition. And they're not really limited edition because... If you go on their page, they have about 13, 13 limited edition eyeshadow palettes. I'll wait. Like, no, 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 no. I'm so over. Like, there was a palette that I really, really wanted to buy, but I they just drive me crazy. Like, they're launching either a palette or a new something all the time and it's just like like I feel like they're pushing it down my throat that it makes me just want to spit it all out and not want to buy nothing uh girl I'm I'm being extra feisty right now <laughs> I'm serious like they just drive me insane like I really really want to try the shape tape concealer but I just feel like Ooh, like they just rub me the wrong way like I feel like their packaging is so cute I love purple and gold and like they have some really cute stuff I feel like they should focus on like one like maybe it's even two things at a time that they launch but they launch like crazy like I I mean I I just can't I just can't honestly that's all I can say I can't maybe in the future I'll like I'll take the little step and buy the concealer or a palette but they just drive me bonkers bonkers <laughs> Too Faced times Candy Johnson I personally used to watch Candy Johnson back back in the day and then I was just like oh, okay I'm over it and I mean she's super cool and I feel like everybody was mentioning the same thing like when you think of Candy Johnson, pink hair, you just think of color and something fun and bold and, you know, and then you get this. Like, that's it? That's it? No, thank you. I'd rather save my coin. Um, it's just, it's boring, honestly. It's another natural palette. Um... There's like 5 billion natural eyes, natural anything, natural something, natural everything palette on the market that I feel like if you're doing a collaboration with someone as big as Candy Johnson and as fun, as bold, as vibrant as she is, like the collection should reflect a little bit more of Candy Johnson. And I feel like it doesn't, so bye bye and that's about it i know there was like a lot of palettes basically like everything was palettes just about um i hope you guys enjoyed it and just remember that this, these are my personal opinions you don't have to agree with me you can disagree with me that's fine um and yeah let me know if there's any products in my list that you want to try or that you have and maybe I should try um but I probably won't <laughs> just kidding not really I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you guys would like to see more of these videos maybe instead of doing like a monthly favorites which I haven't done in like ages I can do like a monthly anti-haul which I feel like would be totally cool and totally refreshing on my channel you guys know because I always talk about like stuff I love and stuff like that. But yeah. On that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for your support and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.